There's just slag all over the place and it's really bad. I got one right at shift change or something. It's just There's like balled up slag not even remotely near a weld. Nothing but the finest. Oh well. It's gonna get beat up anyway. Get some good stuff. Nice going from painting the body to painting a subframe because I get to care exponentially less. These socks were like a like a godsend. I, anytime I had to rest a painted panel or something on the ground or on my my sawhorses or whatever, I just laid a sock, folded up sock down and. So, if you ever paint anything, balled up sock comes in handy. Or is an old rag. 101 uses. Kendall's old socks. I used Rust Oleum uh, spray on appliance epoxy on this stuff after I sandblasted it. But there's, you can see that there are some inclusions from like, uh, I don't know, what would you call that? You get that kind of surface rust, and then you sandblast it, so you've got all this, this kind of uh, pockmarky surface that kind of, you know, retains all that rust, so. Uh, I got it prepped to the best of my abilities and then sprayed it, but, you know, uh, immediately surface rust just came back through, um, which is why I got this uh, uh, rust seal product which is supposed to do a good job of getting in to all those uh, crevices and uh, preventing the rust from coming through. So that seems to work pretty well on the stuff that I, that's what I used on the firewall a while back, if you remember that. And uh, then there's another product that, oh man, no, I, I, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the, the top coat to go over that stuff for, um, uh, to make it more durable. Because apparently, rust seal just by itself is not super durable. Uh, I was talking to uh, uh, Mark Eby and he said, oh yeah, I ran that stuff in my subframes and it just flaked off immediately. So, just doing some looking around and I think that's the solution is to get some better top coat to go on top of it. But that's good because there's once the prep's done, you just brush it on. It's not a huge big ordeal like this turn. In the can, God. Finally had to go at this thing with a screwdriver. Ended up prying it open and cut my hand open, trying to get the top off. So 
I guess if you're using rust seal, either get smaller quantities and make sure you fastidiously clean the lip of this thing out, or just go through the whole can in one go, because it sure seals. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This stuff is already like sludgy in here too. God, all right. Guess I get to order more of that. Treated all this stuff with the rust blast spray earlier, so as before, that should help me out. This is so much fun. Somebody posted a video, and it looked like, um, it might have been Canadian, I don't know, but it looked like that Pug, 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 Pug Life, what One Pug Life, One Pug Life, but it wasn't him, it's similar, but they jumped this thing over a minivan, <laughs> like they had a minivan at the top of the hill, mm -hmm. and the dude gets going from probably 200 yards away, and just, ah, and, you know, it's one of those really steep, short little hills. And he was probably going 20 miles an hour faster than he needed to because he <laughs> cleared that van by about three feet. Boom! And just nosed it. Front just boom, the airbags pop. <laughs> I've seen it. And he pulls back around, he's like, oh, I should have pulled the fuse of the airbag. <laughs> <laughs> he, had a, he had a motocross helmet on.